Hello, my name is Vaughan Rivers, and I just want to show you um, a little bit about a new feature in Lotus Domino 8.5 called Deos. And what Deos allows you to do is to um, run the Deos manager on your Domino server so that it will extract attachments out of databases and store them separately to the actual document within the database. Um, from an end user experience, the end user doesn't notice anything different. In fact, when they replicate the documents from the database or the emails from the database, um, any attachments are replicated through to their mail file as well, and they see nothing different. However, this is just a server feature. Now, it doesn't have to be enabled on all the servers in your environment, but um, it can be enabled on one or two, depending on what you want to do. Now, the idea is that it will greatly enhance your um, server performance. Now, if I have um, users who send out um, attachments to several users within the organization, let's say it's a one meg attachment and they send it to 20 people, it's going to end up being 20 meg of disk space or storage that's going to be required to actually store that, um, that particular email within the user's mail files. Now this would actually, as I understand it, extract that attachment out and store it once instead of the 20 times. And um, as I understand it as well, it should also delete that file once all the users have actually deleted that, um, that particular email. So we'll store it there until such time as it's no longer needed. Now I just want to show you the size of my mail file. Here we have it. We've got um, one point, around about 1.3 gig, um, which is reasonable, I guess. And I'm going to run Daos on the server, and we're going to see what size the mail files end up being. Okay, there's some things we're going to do to set this up. So if I go to the server configuration document, First and foremost, we need to have transactional logging enabled. Okay, so you can find the server configuration document under the um, Lotus Domino Administrator client. Okay, and get current server document if it's the one you're looking at. Or you can find it within the Domino um, address book as well. So make sure transactional logging is enabled and configured first and foremost. So I've already done this, so I'm just going to show you what I've done. So you have it as enabled. The path, I've got here log dir, which is just the default that Domino comes with. This path is created relative to your Lotus Domino data directory. Okay, so if I go into the data directory, I'll see a folder called log dir. Okay, you can put it anywhere else on the computer that you like. It's preferred that you actually put it on a separate disk to your Domino data directory or any other um, databases Domino may be accessing on your server. So, um, if you want, you can type in a full path, such as E drive, for instance, E colon backslash, and the name of that um, directory that you want it to go to. Logging style I've got here is circular. So basically, when it uses up its room, it'll just re, um, just keep going over what it's already um, used in the past. Okay. Um, I can say if I want it to use all the space avail available on the device, because in this case I'm keeping it within my Lotus Domino data directory, I need to have room. Um, for the operating system to be able to function and all of that kind of stuff. So I've just said the maximum log space should be uh, around about a gig and no to the option that it was giving. Obviously the more databases and the busier your server is, you need to be able to give that as much space as possible. Um, automatic fix up of corrupt databases, I've got those enabled so when the server starts up it will compare stuff with the transactional logs. Runtime or restart performance, I've got favor the restart recovery time. Okay, once you've configured that, you then need to go to DAOS, the DAOS tab, and change some settings in here. So I've got it as being enabled. Um, the maximum size of the objects before Domino will store in DAOS is um, around about four megabyte. Okay, so that will, um, that will mean that it won't take an attachment out if it's just a small, tiny thing. Okay, um, you'll just leave it there. For performance, it gets basically a threshold where it's just not worth taking it out because obviously it's going to add the attachment into what it's going to display to the um, user's client. And then the DAOS um, base path, DAOS we've got here, this could be on a separate disk, but the path is relative again to the Lotus Domino directory. And then it's got here defer object deletion for 30 days. So basically, once all the emails that have, have had that attachment um, with them or within them have been email, uh, have been deleted, it will then delete that um, attachment after 30 days. Okay, so if several users have got a copy of that attachment in the email, 
it'd take a little while for that to delete, obviously after all of them have deleted that. It's not a matter of having to go around all your users and say, please delete this email. Um, things will just look after themselves. You, you won't have to worry too much. So once you've got that done, you just need to add a line um, into your Domino um, Notes INI file if you have done an upgrade. And what that line needs to say is this, create underscore r85 underscore databases equals one. And what that line does is it allows you to upgrade the on disk structure of the databases um, to release 8.5. Okay, and that needs to happen before you can, well, that needs to happen so that you can actually enable DAOS on a database. Okay, now the other thing that you need to do as well on the mail files, if I go back to files, again, I've actually already done this. If I click on a mail file, I'll click on one I haven't. You can choose multiple ones if you want to by using the shift key and clicking down the list a bit more and you go advanced properties and in here you enable the use of domino attachment and object service okay and then click on OK and now those databases are ready to be used with this you can actually click on a directory if you want and do the same thing it would apply it to the entire directory I've already put that on my mail file so that's ready to go so now what you need to do is you just want to go into your server console okay it might pay to just take a look and make sure that nothing else is busy it might prevent you from wanting to restart the server and when you're happy just go back to the server console and type in restart server And now that will restart the server and you just need to make sure that before you restart it that you actually updated that line to the any file okay so now when it restarts it will come up ready um, with daos running and ready for us to perform the next step so i've now started my um, server up there's a couple of things that i'd suggest you do first and foremost type in tell daos mgr Resync. Okay, that's the first thing that I suggest you put in. It's a DAOS command. And that will rebuild the DAOS catalog. And the next thing you want to type in is load compact. And we've got a new option here which is DAOS. And we say on. So minus DAOS on minus capital C and then the path to the files that you want to do. So I could type in mail backslash and my mail file name if I wanted to, or I could just type in mail backslash and that would do everything in that directory. So I run that and it comes up here saying informational DAOs is already enabled in the database <coughs> and um, got compression, what have you on, and it says compacting the name of the mail file. As my server is still starting up, I'm getting a few other messages come up as well. It's going through those databases. So if I go back now to um, my server console and I do a refresh uh, to the, the list of files, I do a refresh, I'll see that my mail file should have shrunk considerably. Click on mail. Okay, and what we have here is the logical size of the database. So that's comp computed it um, based on what it would be if I had the attachments with it as well because that's still important to know because if you're replicating to other servers and to your desktop and all that kind of stuff you might want to know that okay but the actual physical size on the disk has now shrunk down to 179 megabytes roughly okay so obviously it's made quite a difference to the size of the database and that's just by switching DAOS on you can also switch DAOS off as well, and it will allow you to have all of those attachments copied back into the mail file, um, if you so wish. So that's made quite a difference to it. So obviously, in my mail file, I must have a lot of attachments. That's how easy it is to set up DAOS.